This is the parallelogram conditions tutorial. In order for you to determine whether or not a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, certain conditions must be met. We're going to discuss those conditions. The first of which is that a quadrilateral is a parallelogram if both pairs of opposite angles are congruent. So the angles I'm referring to here are this pair of opposite angles is indicated by the single red congruency tick mark or this pair. So both pairs would have to be congruent in order for a quadrilateral to be a parallelogram. Let's take a look at the second condition. A quadrilateral is a parallelogram if any one angle of the quadrilateral is supplementary to both of its two adjacent angles. So let's begin with the red angle that I've indicated right here. If that angle right there is supplementary to either the red angle one here or the red angle two here, then this quadrilateral is a parallelogram. The same occurs for the green arrow down here. If this angle indicated by the green arrow is supplementary to the green arrow with angle one here or the green arrow angle two, then this quadrilateral is a parallelogram. The same works for the gray arrows and the blue arrows. Now let's take a look at a third possible way to establish that a quadrilateral is a par parallelogram. A quadrilateral is a parallelogram if both pairs of its opposite sides are congruent, as you can see here with the red congruency tick marks. If both pairs of sides, the opposite sides, are congruent to each other, then this quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Also, a quadrilateral is a parallelogram if both diagonals bisect each other. So you can see that here. It doesn't mean that both diagonals are congruent to each other. It just means that where they intersect, they cut that diagonal into two congruent parts. And lastly, a quadrilateral is a parallelogram if any pair of its opposite sides are both parallel and congruent. So here we've indicated that the top and bottom are both parallel and congruent. However, if the left and right sides of this quadrilateral were both parallel and congruent, then this quadrilateral would be a parallelogram. So, now that you've seen those five conditions, why don't we practice a little bit? I'm going to indicate some aspects of this quadrilateral here, and you tell me if they're a parallelogram or not. What if I told you that this angle right here was 80 degrees, and that these two angles were congruent to each other, and this angle was 100 degrees? Would this quadrilateral be a parallelogram? Well, yes, it would, because if you recall, if any one angle of the parallelogram is supplementary to the two adjacent angles, then it's going to be a parallelogram. Now, what if I showed you two diagonals, like so, and I told you that this diagonal was cut into two congruent parts? Would this quadrilateral be a parallelogram? Well, no, it wouldn't. If you recall, both diagonals would have to be bisected. So this diagonal would also have to be cut into two congruent parts. And we weren't told that. So this quadrilateral would not have been a parallelogram. Now lastly, what if I told you that these two sides, top and bottom, were congruent to each other, and the two sides, left and right, were congruent to each other? Would this quadrilateral be a parallelogram? It would, because if two opposite sides, two pairs of opposite sides, are congruent to each other in a quadrilateral, then that quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So those are the five conditions that you should keep in mind when determining whether or not you're dealing with a parallelogram.